I am going in to meet with Joe, getting my first bod pod in a while done. Bod pod tells you what your body fat percentage is. So you can have goals around that versus just losing weight. You wanna lose fat, not weight. So let's see Joe. Like anything else you have in your life, you've got a business plan, you've got a quarterly plan, you've got a, an entire plan for your whole world, but not your fitness. What the heck? Joe is going to write a plan for me, but we need to know where the freak we're starting. So the best thing to do is live each day, one day at a time. It's good that you have an overall plan, but you have to make uh, room for uh, micro adjustments here and there. You're in business, so you know what time it is. So. Just like business, just yeah. like changing markets, we gotta adjust as we go. But exactly. we're gonna start with this. Okay, we have your results, and um, your body weight is 142.3, of which your lean mass is roughly 113.4 pounds and your fat mass is at 28.9 pounds together. That's what brings up the 142, or makes up the 142. We get the percentage breakdown. Y'all better know I love you if I'm sharing this information. <laughs> you get the breakdown, 20.3% is your body fat and your lean mass is 79.7. So your lean mass is everything on your body that's not composed of fat, all right? So that will be your skin, your muscles, your hair, your nails, your teeth, your bones. Your, your organs, all these things constitute your lean mass. You want to keep those cells healthy as possible. When mm -hmm. the lean mass starts to drop, overall cell energy and cell health starts to drop as well. What else happens when your cell health starts to drop? Death. Oh, well that's probably important. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why stress management God. is so important. If you're thinking about getting in shape and staying relatively lean looking, Managing stress is one of the most important things in your life because stress will actually mess up your physique and actually detracts from the time that you have in your life. So um, I recommend that you get a really good therapist, somebody that deals specifically with stress management and use that to get you. Also meditation as well is a great thing to, to learn to do and start adding that into your daily routine. So I am busy as crap as we've all discussed, yeah. but I want to feel better because I want to have a plan and I actually want to just execute on that, but I'm getting all this information like we all have mm -hmm. of just being all over the place. All right, What's so our plan? What's okay, our so go, go plan? So right now, right now, um, for what you're trying to do, you need to feed yourself. So your resting metabolic rate right now is at 1,379 kilocals per day. That's what it takes to maintain your body at present if you were just comatose, mm -hmm. all right? That's the low basal level of what your metabolism is. So what everybody else would tell me is just eat less. Yeah, and they, they'd be crazy. That's why they don't look so good, you know? When you start becoming low active because you work, all right, you're, you're going to, you, you have a busy life or whatever, it can range anywhere from 2,096 all the way to 2,855 uh, kilocals per day. Okay. So your busy life and then you start adding in exercise and everything like that and you can be burning upwards close to 3,000 calories if not more so a day. but we've always heard eat less you'll burn more and that just seems like it would make sense that you just lose weight or get leaner because you're eating less well I can tell you from experience I'm close to 60 years old I still stay relatively lean and keep it together and I can tell you right now that you have to eat a significant amount of food in order to be able to stay muscular and lean. So because that's, that's if you don't, just a big myth. It's a, it's a huge myth. Hmm. If, you don't, if you don't eat enough calories, you will lose your muscles. End of story. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, there are a lot of people that are in business that are trying to eat less. And of course, they have to eat less because they're on the go all the time. So I mean, the caloric intake is going to be all over the place. And you see a lot of them, male and female, walking around with distended bellies. And that's one of the things that's going on. So a person loses weight. Yeah, if I, if I drop 10 pounds of lean mass, my weight's gonna go down. My, my body fat's gonna go up, mm. but the weight's gonna be down. So if all you're interested oh. in is losing weight and you wanna sacrifice your lean, your lean mass, which is your hair growth, your nails, you wanna walk around with uh, brittle looking hair, and your hair looks dry, and your skin looks dry, if that's, your, if that's the goal that you want, then go ahead, by all means, go ahead and, and do it. Health tip for people who are in business and they're trying to stay lean and get in shape. Major one, set your alarm clock every day, and if possible, wake up before the sun gets up or right at, sun, uh, right, right at sunrise, 
and get your first meal in. Make sure it's a balanced meal that has proteins, carbohydrates, and fats in it. Business and life carry with it its own level of stress. But if you're going to work on your physique and a healthy lifestyle like we talk about, you gotta find a way to manage it.